everyone welcome to dish delish africa yes welcome to the channel yes so today we're making pepper gizzard yes so these are the few ingredients you've been needing in here i have my bell pepper green bell pepper normally i use the red bell pepper but when i went i didn't get the red one so i'm using the green in place of the red yes and i have my red onion my tomatoes and my red scotch bonnet peppers yes so i have my oil in here i have my spices i have my rosemary my thyme my curry powder my salt and my maggi cube yes and here i have my green bell pepper and red onions for garnishing yes and here this is the main main ingredient i have my pep my gizzard it is already cooked yeah, so what I did was that I cooked it with my normal spices, salt and maggi cube. Then after that, I grilled it. Yes, so you can see it's very dry. Yes, so that's what you need. So if you don't have a grill, all you can do is to shallow fry your gizzard before starting this main process. So make sure to shallow fry your gizzard. Yes, so sorry about the background noises. Today I have a lot of children around. Yes, so all we just do now is to pour everything in our blender then we will start blending yes so what I would do first is normally I go in with the onion first so I have my knife here is what I'll be able to cut my vegetables yes so that it can be easy for my blender to to carry it or blend it yes so please make sure to check the description box for all the ingredients the ingredients will be there for you yeah, so make sure to check the description box. You have all the ingredients there. So all I'm just doing now is to, I'm cutting my onion and I'm just dumping it into my blender so that it can be easy for it to blend. Yes, so the aim is I do not want to blend it roughly. I saw the aim is I do not want to blend it to be smooth. What I'm aiming at is to blend it to be rough. Yes, so what I'm doing now is to just, you know, tear my bell pepper yes that's the aim to just tear it the knife can do that but i normally prefer to use my hands since my hands can do it so guys in the kitchen today i have my daughter yes she came to film with me so you'll be hearing some voices at the background plus the voices of the children in the compound so sorry guys today it's we and the children so don't worry guys yes so all i'm just doing now is to tear the last part of the bell pepper then what i will do now is to dump in my red scotch bonnet the tomatoes will go in last because it looks as if it's the softest vegetable yes so all i'll just do i'm aiming to grind it roughly so all i'm just doing now is to chop my tomatoes yes so that's it so i'll set this outside so what i'll do now is to add in some water yes i just did added in some water so what i'll do now is to add in my spice blend Yes, I'm blending it with the spices. So I'll add in my spice blend, all of it, all my spices. So all I'll just do now is to blend. So what you do now is to shake, 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 so that the ones that have not started blending will blend well. Yes. Remember, we are not blending it to be perfectly smooth. We want it to be rough. Yeah, so we've got into the texture. Let me show you. So this is what you're looking for. Something like this. Yes, rough. So depending on you, you can make yours smooth. Depending on you, everybody and their choice, you can make yours smooth. So all I will do now, what you will see next is our fire top. Yes. Yes, guys. So our pot has heated up. So all I will just do now is to add my vegetables. Yes. So I'll go in and add some a little water into my blender and just add it in. Yes. So what I will do now is to allow it to cook. I wouldn't be adding in the oil because once I add the oil, you'll see that everything will start splashing. So I'll allow it to cook down before adding in the oil. Yes. So you can see that it has already started boiling. So I'll just allow it to cook down before adding in the oil. 
yes guys so as you can see it is heating up it has not dried yet so we'll keep on step we'll allow it to heat up and dry out completely until you see no water yes yes guys so this is how it's supposed to look it's dried completely so all we just do now is to add in our oil yes then what we we'll just do is to stir 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 yes is to just stir it fry it a little bit before we go in and add in our gizzard yes So what we'll do now is to go in and add in all our gizzard, yes. So all we'll just do now is to stir, 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 stir. So we are going to allow it to heat up for like one to two minutes then we add in our vegetables for garnishing then that we are good to go yeah so all we just do now is to go in and stir stir for some time yes Then all I will just do now is to go in and add in my vegetables. All I will just do to stay. That's all for garnishing. Then we are good to go, guys. Yes, we are done, done, done. Yes, guys. So this is it. Look at the goodness. Garnished with more vegetables yeah so thank you so much guys for watching please don't forget that one day at a time is the best don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel don't forget to hit the notification bell below so that whenever we upload a new video you'll be the first to be notified to meet in our next video please stay safe and bye